Take the Deal, Chapter 1, Friday. This is Jane Jackson. She is 32 and she works as a digital marketing officer. She is from Liverpool, but she lives in a city called Pignon in the south of France. She lives in a nice little French house with a nice tall French boyfriend called Jack. Fortunately, she speaks French very well, so she can make friends and talk to colleagues at work fairly easily. She's quite happy. She only has one big problem. She works for an international cookie manufacturer called Kukiev. It's a very big company with more than 25,000 employees around the world. She's in charge of creating digital marketing campaigns to go online. Newspapers, magazines, blogs, social media. She likes her job. But right now, her company is in financial danger. Actually, it may have to close down. People don't buy the cookies because they don't like them. They are horrible. But the production manager, Jim Jones, who created the recipe, doesn't want to change it. He always says, this is a traditional recipe, so it is the best, so we can't change it. Her boss, Eric, is the managing director. He's coming into her office. Jane, today is Friday and I want to think about the marketing campaign at the weekend. Can I see your ideas for the new cookies digital advertising? Sorry, I can't show you now. I have to go to the dentist, says Jane. She doesn't really have to go to the dentist, but she has to say something. Oh, are you okay? asks her boss. Oh yes, I just need to get a tooth out. I can show you my ideas on Monday, is that okay? Okay, but I need to see them on Monday. Sure, boss, of course. She needs to design a new digital advertising campaign for their new product. Chocolate pepper cookies called Joppy Crisps. But she has no ideas. No ideas for the message. No ideas for the images. No ideas at all. If people don't buy these new cookies, she can lose her job and the company may close down. She looks at her screen at a coffee mug. She looks at the photo of her boyfriend, Jack. Then she remembers that her boyfriend's birthday party is that Saturday at 7. She needs to buy him a present, but what? Not choppy crisps, that's for sure. She decides to go to talk to Jim again, the production manager. She goes to his office. He's sitting on the floor making a long line with lots of pens and pencils of different colors. Jane is not very surprised. Jim is a bit eccentric. Why are you on the floor? What are you doing? asks Jane. Can't you see? It's perfectly clear. I'm designing a new production line. Don't look. It's a secret. Really? Don't worry, I can't see anything. Well, I am here to ask you something. Are you sure people like these cookies, Jim? Do you like them? asks Jane. Of course, what do you mean? They are the best. I can't stop eating them. My grandfather always makes cookies with this recipe. Jane goes back to her desk. She looks at Jack's photo again. What about taking choppy crisps to her boyfriend's birthday party. She can ask people if they like the cookies. A focus group. That's a good idea. She can run a focus group with Jack's friends and family. It can give her ideas for the marketing campaign. All she needs is a lot of cookies. She goes to speak to Alice, Eric's secretary. Hi Alice, I need a favor. Could you please get me 10 packets of choppy crisps? I need them now for a focus group, says Jane. Do you have an authorization form? asks Alice. A what? says Jane. You need an authorization form. Alice gives Jane a document which says 
authorization form on top and then tells her to write how many packets she wants and why she needs them. Jane fills in the form and signs it. OK, here you are. Now go downstairs, open that door which says storage room and take the 10 packets of cookies you need. Great, thank you so much. This is the first time Jane goes downstairs. She finds a long corridor and four doors. She opens the storage room door and goes in. She can see a lot of boxes piled up. It's very dark. At the back of the room, there's another door. She's very curious. She tries to open it, but she can't. What's up? Why are you here? I need 10 packets of choppy crisps for a focus group. Who are you? says Jane. The cookies are there, says the man, pointing at some boxes near the entrance. You can't open this door. Now take the cookies and leave. This is a closed area. You don't need to know my name and never touch this door again. Jane takes the cookies and runs back to her office. She can't understand what's happening. She's very scared. Who is that man? Why is he so rude? Why can't I ask questions? What is he hiding behind that door? She turns off her computer, takes her bag and leaves. She's very scared. Her boss sees her at the elevator. Good luck at the dentist. Thanks, see you on Monday. Jane wants to ask her boss about that angry man and that dark door, but she doesn't want to talk about the dentist again because it's not true she needs to go to a dentist, but she's scared. She tries to stop thinking about that man and the door. It's not easy. She tries to think about Jack instead. Now she remembers she needs to buy him a present for his birthday. She drives to the mountain sports shop. Maybe she can buy him a pair of mountain boots. She sees a nice pair of boots and buys them. She's very happy with the present, but she can't stop thinking about that mysterious man and that closed door downstairs. When Jane gets home, she quickly hides the present in the kitchen. Jack comes in. He's having a whiskey. She puts the cookies on a chair. Hello, darling. Would you like a drink? Says Jack. Yes, please. Why are these cookies on the chair? I need to set up a focus group. I think your friends can help. Darling, what you need is a new job. Your company is a disaster. These cookies are horrible. You're a great digital marketing officer. You should earn more money. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I can help with that. Just listen to me for a sec. My government can buy your horrible cookies. Hold on. I think I might have a headache. I need a rest, says Jane and goes to the bedroom. She gets into bed. She needs time to think. She needs time to process Jack's idea. Jack Pierce is a politician for the All for One party and a very ambitious one. He's now the town mayor, but he wants to run for Congress and maybe with a bit of luck. He can be the president of France one day. It's hard, but he feels he can win the elections if he works hard to ruin his opponents. His main opponent is Simon Jocelyn, who's the leader of the Freedom for All party. He has to ruin her. That's the plan. Jane understands Jack's plans and ambitions, but she knows he's a good man. So she decides his offer to buy her cookies must be a mistake. It can't be serious. So. She decides to forget all about it and go to sleep. Happier now with her decision, little by little, she falls asleep.